All right, guys, I wanted to give you a video on how to do dimensional analysis, which is just a fancy way of saying turning one unit into another. So I thought we'd start with something simple and familiar to you, taking inches into feet. I've broken this down to a few steps. And over time, as you become more familiar with the units and how the math works, you'll be able to cut a few steps out. So the first thing that we want to do is state our starting value. Which in this case is going to be 30 inches. So down here where I'll do my work, I'm going to put 30 inches over 1. That 1 is just there to support the 30 inches and hold it up in place. Uh, think of it like me or some other super strong person, just, you know, with those muscles holding up a heavy weight. All right. Step two is to state our conversion factor. And that will be this right here. 12 inches is one foot. Now, whatever we want to get rid of, whatever we are coming out of, is going to go on the bottom. My example today was taking my bad report cards and stuffing them in the bottom of my book bag so that my mom and my dad wouldn't see when I got home. So we're going to take the inches, 12 inches, put that on the bottom, and put one foot on top. The next step is to multiply across. Multiply. Guys, spelling is tough. So you want to go across the top and across the bottom. So. 30 inches times one foot, we're going to write this out, is just to kind of put everything in one place. So we'll have 30 inches times feet divided by 12 inches times one is just 12 inches. Now here's kind of a semi-step in between where you can cancel out anything on the top and bottom. So we can go ahead and cancel the inches out. They're gone. Vamos. Adios. And then the actual step four is divide down. So 30 divided by 12 is 2.5 feet. And you guys can check my math. I think that's right off the top of my head. 30, 12, 24, 6 more, 2 and a half. Yep, that works. Wow, that looks real pretty. I don't really make things that look pretty. Y'all have seen me before. I'll put this to the side. Put it on over here. And let me pull a couple of examples out of the book. Probably should have had the book out before I started. That would have helped.
Okay, this is going to be page. Let's see. No, I don't want to do that one. I'll do that one. This one is going to be page 40. Page 40. Number seven. So first, the question is, two point four five six liters to blank milliliters and the conversion that we're given is 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. So there is the conversion factor for this one right here. So step one, state the starting value. Two point four five six liters. Uh, then state the conversion. Now liters is what I want on the bottom. So I'm gonna stuff one liter to the bottom, and put one thousand milliliters on top. I will multiply across, and this is one of the steps that in the future you may be able to get rid of, same with number four, depending on the way it is set up. So multiply that across and you get two, four, five, six liters times milliliters over one liter. And you'll have the unit liter cross off. And then when you divide, you end up with, I mean, dividing 2,456 by one, which gives you 2,456 milliliters. This time, let's go ahead and do a multi-step problem, just as an example. And we'll go with, so many choices. You know what? I'm going to make these two separate videos. For now, you guys, go ahead and review this, and we will keep going working on this.